Green Bridge friends, this is Michael here at Bridge Hands, and welcome to Pulling You, number 7778, Day 3, Part 1B, March 30th, 2012. And as you'll recall, we're going to take a look at hands 1B, 1C, and 1D. Three more hands that looked very close to the first hand. Most of them are identical with just different bidders that are dealer. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those three hands, compare and contrast to see whether or not we end up preempting, overcalling, whether we end up in game or not. We're going to see some interesting twists and turns depending upon who is the dealer. After that, we're going to go into section two, three, and four. So lots more, but let's go ahead first of all and finish up these next three hands. See you there. Okay, this time we're going to take a look at hand 1B. Same four hands, different dealer. This time the dealer is North. We'll go through it quicker since we've seen these hands before. North, you had that 6322 in spades, King, Queen, Jack six times. That six high looks like two distribution for the great suit is eight. In hearts, ace three times. Another four brings us to twelve. Two small clubs, two small diamonds. Open one spade or two spades. What's our suit quality? Well, let's take a look at that. That was three honors and six long is nine. Semi self-sustaining suit. And with semi self-sustaining suits, we get to count losing trick count, don't we? Let's do it. Okay, one loser in spades, two losers in hearts, two losers in clubs, and two losers in diamonds. That's seven. Hmm. We have the same honors as we do in the East End, but that was only six. Why seven here? Aha, we had a four-card suit. Remember, we only count the first three losers in a suit? Sure turned out to work well there, didn't it, with those honors over on the other hand. Okay, so at any rate, with seven losers, this North decides to open two spades. If you want to open one spades, I'd be all for it, but okay, this person goes two spades, fine. Over now to the east hand. You recall this was that 6-4-2-1 with the six loser hand. Um, if they open one spade, I would say go two hearts with six losers in a semi self sustained heart suit. But since they went two spades, to come in at three hearts seems a little rich. Doggone that north person. It's always nice when they have the spade suit for them. Not so much for us, so we have to pass. Over to the south hand. Hey, we have three spades support, and in diamonds, ace, king, queen, six times, no losers there. We have good coverage in both the pointed suits. In clubs, good coverage there, too. We've got a singleton. We can use some roughing. With just the tripleton in hearts, we don't like tripleton without honors, but, geez, with three of the four suits, why don't we go ahead and make a forcing bid? Two no trump or three diamonds, both of those are forcing bids. Now, if you bid three diamonds, it means you like to advertise. In this case, I don't think it serves any purpose other than to advertise to opponents. I would just as soon not. I would just as soon bid two no trump. So let's say two no trump, a little snake in the grass, and see what happens there. Over now to the west hand. Well, huh. We have 11 high plus that 150 honors and clubs. If not vulnerable, I would say come in with a bid for sure. Come in with three clubs. It's a good lead director. After all, you've got six losers yourself. So three clubs it is, intervening bid. Now North is not obligated to bid because in the sandwich seat there was this bid by West. But we do have extras. We probably should have opened one spade, but with this outside ace, I think we want to show it. Show partner the good news. So we're going to go ahead and rebid three hearts. Over in the east hand. Wow, we're hard to believe, isn't it? We've got King, Queen, Jack running six times. Do you want to double? Well... Perhaps, but would it do any good if you're on lead? Um, it's like a solve next cue. It just wake you up. Just remember you lead the suit. So unless you think they're going to be in three no trump, I'd say just go ahead and pass. Now to south. South, hmm, good. They've got a control in heart, either an ace or a king. I'd say since they made a forward going bid, it means their spades are good. They've got a primary honor in hearts. We should accept game going to four spades. So four spades it is, and the lead is over in the east hand. East, you want to lead a spade, you want to lead a heart, club, or a diamond. Well, we'll take a look at the different leads, see what works, what doesn't, and you can see that hearts or clubs works. If you lead your spade, no good. If you lead that singleton diamond, just like before, singleton leads are not good, and you certainly wouldn't if you heard three diamonds in the south. But some of you might have been tempted when you heard two no trump bid 
and that would be a poor lead. So this East goes ahead and lead a heart, the top of a sequence, rather than coming with their partner's clubs initially. One by the Ace in the North hand, who now wants to make a plan. Not going to get any finesses here. Uh, not going to get any pitches on the diamonds. We have a 6-2, so that means they're 3-2 or 4-1. we got to pull Trump first, don't we? So we'll play a low Trump of our sequence. Maybe if they have the Ace over the East hand, they won't play it right away for fear that they'll crash with a King. And if we can get a couple rounds played, that would be to our benefit. And sure enough, they do not go up with the ace in the east hand thinking there might be a king or queen that they would crash with. So that was good to play that check. Very smart. Now the king, we might as well go ahead and go up. They win with the ace. And we need to make a plan. Well, we can either play a heart or a club here. Um, might as well go ahead and play another round of hearts, although clubs might be prudent. We only see one in the dummy, though, don't we? So we'll go ahead and play our queen of hearts. And over in the west hand, our partner plays the ace of clubs. Now, I'd say that's pretty encouraging. Sometimes when you play an extra high card loudly, it says, play something non-obvious. If that confuses your partner, don't play the ace. A queen or a jack would be fine. But if you're really trying to wake up your partner and say, hey, play a club. I've got a solid suit, okay? And in this case, we want to go ahead and... Play one more round of hearts because we know they're out. We know it's a 6 3 3 1, right? So you know you can safely play one more round. It's not going to be rough. You saw three in the dummy. You had six. There was only one in the west hand. So you can play that extra time before you come across. Very good. Once you've done that, now you can play the club to the 10 over in the west hand. And you've just made your four tricks to set the auction. Okay, let's take a look at it again. We saw that we could not lead a diamond or we could not lead a spade, either of those, and they're going to go ahead and pull Trump and set up that diamond suit. Playing a high heart was won by the ace. They played a jack of spades nice. They got us to duck one time. We won the second round with the ace over in the east hand. We can remember that we saw our partner pitch on the second round of hearts, so we knew it was a 6-3-3-1 three, three, to add up to the 13 cards, so we can play one more round before we continue. We need that to go ahead and set the contract. After we get our three rounds of hearts, we can now go ahead and play our club to set the contract. Four spades was a reasonable bid. In this case, with good leads, you're able to set them. Well done. Well, okay, on hand 1C, we're going to modify just a couple cards here, but effectively most of the hands will be the same. And this time we're going to have a new dealer. The dealer will be in the south. Let's give it a try. South has the same hands. You recall this was the 6-3-3-1 three, three, with ace, king, queen, six times in diamonds. And for sure, we're going to go ahead and open two diamonds. We have no outside values, and we have two tripletons, not the best holding. Over in the west hand, it's clubs, king, queen, jack, ten, eight spot, no longer have the ace. So there we have six high, one distribution, seven points. In spades, king, jack, ten, nine spot, very good holding there, just missing the ace and the queen. There's another four. Jack, ten, nine of diamonds, useful, and a ten of hearts. Hey, we've got uh, almost all honors in our hands, don't we, except for one nine and one eight and a singleton ten. Uh, well, this jack, ten, nine of diamonds, we're not very fond of that after we have two diamonds in first seat, so we'll go ahead and pass. Okay, over to the north hand, we have a little different hand here also. We don't have that long-running spade suit this time. In spades, though, it's ace-queen three times, that's six high, three diamonds in clubs, ace four times, that brings us up to ten, and in hearts, ace three times. So we have a four triple three, three aces with a connected working queen. Do you want to make a call after two diamonds? Well, if you do, you probably would be thinking you're going to be heading for three no trump. So if partner has an outside king in one of the side suits, uh, that will be useful. Not going to have many outside aces. We've got three of them in our hand. So two no trump might be a call. If you're conservative, you're just going to pass. But let's try two no trump and see if our partner has maybe an outside working value in a good diamond suit. 
Over in the east hand, uh, we've got the hearts, king, queen, jack, six times. This time, no outside ace. It's a 6-3-3-1. Three, 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 three in the black suits will pass. Back to south, where we don't have an outside ace, and we don't have an outside king. But we have ace, king, queen. As we're going to see in a future lesson, when we have ace, king, queen six times in a suit, we don't rebid anything other than three no trump to show that we have a solid running suit. It's a convention. It's a good one. We'll talk about that more later. So we would rebid three no trump to show that we have a good running suit with ace, king, queen. And sure enough, our partner is most happy with three aces. Okay, so the lead is going to be over to the north hand. They were the ones who bid two no trump. And the lead will obviously be the top of this heart sequence. So leading a heart, they duck one time in the north hand, although do they really need to? They've got, it looks like, six diamonds and three aces. Well, it could be that there's jack fourth of diamonds. And if the person who has four, if it's four over in the east hand, and they cannot get back to the heart over in the east hand, if the west hand cannot get over there, um, jack fourth will happen one in four times, 28% of the time. So yeah, I think ducking once might be a prudent idea. So we'll go ahead and duck once. And on the second one, when we see that they show out, there's no reason to duck a second time. So um, they come up with a king of clubs saying that's the suit they want, obviously. We'll win with the ace of hearts. And we'll go ahead and hopefully the diamonds will cooperate. We play a diamond to the ace. If we thought that we had a, a problem or it was 4-1 and we wanted to have a safe game, there are some instances where actually we do duck one time in case it was jack fourth because we have no other outside entries. But in this case, we're going to go by the 75 or so percent of the time and we're going to go ahead and just see if they run. So we'll play a second round. Shows out. That's good. They played once, so we don't have to worry about that. We can play our queen of diamonds. It tr captures the jack. We play our three more diamonds, we pitch a heart, a spade, and a club. Okay, we've got eight tricks. It looks like they're going to have to play at least one spade to us. We might as well go for an over trick. It's helpful if you're a duplicate player. So we might as well play a spade to the queen. And if not, they're going to have to come to our club, and then we get our ace of spades anyway. I don't think they're going to run all hearts. As you can see, they're pitching over here in the east hand. So we play a spade to the 10 to our queen, and yes, it looks like the king of spades was on side. So we can go ahead and take our ace of spades, our ace of clubs, and we have 10 tricks. Very good. So the lesson here was that two diamonds, good bid, two no trump, kind of seemed like it was a little bit of a stretch. We weren't sure that our partner was going to be able to, we're not looking for five diamonds, that's for sure. But if our partner can help us, we might get three no trump. And indeed, when they came back with three no trump in response to our two no trump, that says they have ace, king, queen six times. Okay, well done. Three no trump it is. Okay, and finally, we're here at hand 1D, the last of the four hands. And this time, West gets a chance to show off what they've got with that wonderful 150 honors. Let's check it out. So over in the West hand, the dealer has... Ace, king, queen, jack, ten, eight spot, six times in clubs. That's ten high. At least two distribution is twelve. In spades, ten, nine spot. In hearts, ten spot. And in diamonds, four of them, jack, ten, nine, eight. That could be worth something. We're not sure, but eventually it should promote or so we think. So we're going to open one club. Over to the north hand. It's a 6-3-2-2, three, two, two, and you'll recall that was a king-queen-jack six times, ace three times of hearts, semi-self-sustaining suit, six, seven losing trick count. Yes, seven losing trick count for the north hand. Uh, could be two spades if south was a pass, and that would be the correct bid. But I think in this case, let's just go ahead and bump it along and bid one spade, see where we end up. Maybe partner has some energy if the east hand is weak. Over the west hand, well, east is not weak. It's the 6-4-2-1. That was the six losing trick count hand because they had the fourth club. And um, you'll recall it was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten high card points, a couple distribution, a six loser, semi-self-sustaining suit. Hmm, definitely going to bid two hearts. Okay, over to the south hand. 
Well, how about that? You've got three spade support. And in diamonds, ace, king, queen, six times. You want to bid three diamonds? I don't think we should count too many points for our partner, right? Lefty has opened. Righty has shown 10 points or more. We've got nine points ourselves. It seems like it's a lot of bidding going on in this deck. But that's the way the bidding is going. Uh, there is some merit to bidding three diamonds if your partner thought it was forcing and you're looking to find a double fit. You want to do that when you have the higher ranking suit. And you do. Your partner bids spades and you have three. But your partner may not think it's forcing. So let's bid spades. Two spades would be competitive. And you're certainly going to bid again if you get a chance. Three spades would be normally a weak bid after two hearts. So two spades it is. Back now to the west hand. West, if you passed, I believe it's a forcing pass, and your partner is still obligated to bid because they show 10 points or more and five hearts by bidding two hearts. You could pass, but I don't think so. Not with this ace, king, queen, jack, 10. Even if it was ace, king, queen, jack, five times, I think you might want to rebid three clubs with a singleton heart. Now, your partner may only have five hearts. It might be five, one. And in that case, with six, they have seven, most likely four, two, or they could have five, one. So we don't want to rebid hearts. We want to rebid clubs. Three clubs it is. North, with your partner bidding two spades, do you want to go to three spades? I think so, unless you're adverse vulnerability. I think it makes a lot of sense to come in and compete at the highest ranking suit. Three clubs. Put some pressure on them. Shucks. They would have passed. We would have certainly rebid three hearts. But now we have to go four hearts. Do you want to do it or do you want to show your club support? Your partner's been one club, three clubs, and you haven't shown any clubs. Um, do you want to shoot for five clubs or four hearts? What do you want to do? It's a little tough, isn't it? When they own that master spade suit, they have put some pressure on us indeed. Uh, if you think about it, using the losing trick count, the semi-self-sustaining suit, even if our partner has a singleton, we should be able to have a good chance at four hearts with this wonderful heart suit. Now, mind you, I know that sometimes the importance of partnership agreements and showing support for our partner and say, well, you know, I do have club support. Would my partner be upset with me for not showing it? But on the other hand, if we understand, appreciate, and respect losing trick count and semi-self-sustaining suits, as long as our partner has a singleton, we have a good chance of only losing one heart. And with the clubs then being promoted next, well, it's interesting, isn't it? Let's say that this East, though, decides to bid four clubs. We know what happens if it was bidding four hearts. We saw that on the first one. So we'll say four clubs for the sake of argument to see how this one plays out. So four clubs it is. I don't think you want to go to four spades, and I don't think you want to bid four diamonds. So we'll pass over here. No, we don't want to go to five clubs. We don't have that much extra. We do have these three losers in diamonds, the two in spades for sure, when they're both pitting the spade suit. So it's going to pass out in four clubs. Okay, then in four clubs, the opening lead is in the north hand, certainly going to be the king of spades, top of sequence. We win with the ace, and we have to make a plan. There is no plans to finesse. There's no immediate uh, promotion and rough. We first have to go ahead and get the trump played. We've got 6-3. They're 2-1 or 3-0. We play one round. They both follow. That means they have one left. We play the king. They show out, and south plays a 7. Um, encouraging, could have played a queen, I suppose, since there's only a singleton in the dummy, but this should be understood as so it's encouraging. Okay, there is next a diamond played. We're going to start roughing in and promoting that heart suit. So we'll play a jack of diamonds, one by south. We don't want to come back in a diamond, seeing there's none left in the dummy. There is a spade, and our partner bid that suit, so we'll go ahead and play the top of our remaining doubleton. They win with the jack. Okay, now over to the north hand. Do you want to play the ace of hearts? Well, maybe not, because if they show out over in the west hand, it's a rough, and then they get in with the club entry. So, hmm, we don't want to play the ace of hearts. I suppose either the queen of spades or a little diamond and have them perhaps rough in. 
So we'll go ahead and play a diamond, and sure enough, they do rough in. They played the king of hearts. Well, we have to take it now or never. And it's a good thing we did because it was a singleton 10 that came over here in the west hand. At this point, they go ahead and play a queen of spades, and we rough it. We then play our queen of hearts, pitching the ten of diamonds from the west hand. We can go ahead and start playing our trumps, and we have our ten trick game. So we make our four clubs. Okay, so you recall it went one club, one spade, not two. Two hearts showing at least five and ten, five long and ten more in a major suit. Two spades, not three, which would be preemptive. Three clubs, not a necessary bid, but since it was a forcing pass, if you would have made it, but with the extra clubs, fine, bid that. Three spades, certainly put the pressure on here. You could no longer bid three hearts over in the east hand. If you did, bid two hearts, three hearts, showing a six-card suit, I believe that partner over in the west would then have gone four hearts with a singleton ten. But in this case, we went four clubs and set for the sake of argument. Didn't use a semi-self-sustaining suit, which I think you should have. But we wanted to take a look at the other way, and sure enough, it made four clubs. Well, okay, Bridge friends, this completes Day 3, Part 1B of our preemptive bidding journey. Now, on Part 2, we will explore partnership bidding styles with preemptive values, hands that may or may not qualify as semi-self-sustaining suits. We will also look at environmental factors that influence our bidding style, along with some bridge hands to reinforce our lessons learned. On part three, then, we will focus on partnership bidding methods in the face of preempts by both you, your partner, and those insidious opponents. For the aggressive preemptors, we will discuss several methods, including low-level slam masking bids. And if you or your partner are really frisky, then part four is the episode for you. There, we will see where professionals preempt shapely hands with seemingly lesser values as well as those with no more than five card majors. After all, inquiring minds simply must know. So if you currently haven't signed up for our free premium or ultra subscriptions, come on over to bridgehands.com and sign up today. Well, okay, Bridge Friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the flip side with many more videos of Bridge Hands ready to view here at your Bridge Hands Theater. Until we meet again, Happy trails to you. Bye now.